Hey Collective, welcome to Collectively Chosen. This is Miss Kelly coming to you with your collective read. Thank you so much for your love and support. And thank you for your patience. <laughs> Let me get him back over on the channel. <clears throat> so Collective, when I was meditating in your energy, I got some downloads. I have that um, you could have observed someone's patterns and changed your mind about working with someone. Um, I feel like this person was trying to also, <coughs> excuse me, pay attention to your patterns as well. All right. This person may want to know your location. And if you're in the spotlight, they're definitely keeping an eye on you in that way as well. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to um, send you some sort of act of love or people that you have who watch you. Um, they're wanting to send you some sort of kindness kind words, acts of love. Um, also, um, let's see here. The only expectation you have from people in this time that's coming into your life new or returning is peace. So anyone that comes in that's trying to disturb your peace and you being able to love on yourself, that is a automatic elimination from you dealing with people. Um, so I feel like that's just like a, a what they call it, like a um, deal breaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyone who comes in and disturbs your peace, that's a deal breaker for you. You also have an ancestor that you may feel is absent um, or they haven't been around or haven't shown you any signs that they've been around you. They're going to pay you a visit to let you know that they're with you. Okay. So those for your downloads. being around um like someone is definitely guarding you or blocking someone from your past yeah it could be a player energy that just plays too much it could be very childish and immature okay um i feel like somebody is definitely blocking this person from your energy like i said a lot of you you could have observed this person's patterns that, you know, they were not going to settle down. They're not the type to settle down. And they don't take life too seriously, okay? Um, you could be one of those people that's very, I could say, you know, studious. You are very intellectual, okay? Um, you know, we indulge in the superficial things every now and again, but not necessarily. You know what I'm saying? So, um yeah, there's a player that's missing your absence, even possibly your body. Okay. Now, some of you, you may not have been sexually attracted to whoever this is. Okay, so there's a backstory. <laughs> All right, there's a backstory to this. Okay. Um, this could be someone who wanted to, like, take the lead in the situation, but I don't know. Someone may also feel as though they're not... Um, they don't match you intellectually. Let me put that out there. Someone feels as though they don't match you intellectually. Yeah, you're one of those type of people you explore different things. Um, somebody may be okay and cool with their addictions, you know. And I feel like that's not something that you necessarily want. Like right now, you're in this place of... The here and now. Um, some of you could be definitely, again, your ancestors. Some of you could be learning about your, you know, your lineage, where you stem from. Yes, I told you. Y'all have some ancestors that are really going to bat for you, defending you, blocking things from coming towards you. Um... Helping you to get back in that energy of shining, self-care, loving on yourself, taking control, taking back control of your life. 
Yeah. This ancestor is going to bring something to your attention here. Yes, attention and messenger. Okay. Um, and I feel like whatever this is, it's going to bring you some sort of peace here. All right. Something could have definitely been owed to you with privilege being here. And there was some conflict over it. Now, there could be some sort of conflict that... So I don't know if this could be like a fight or something that could be put in the limelight, okay? You may not want to be around whenever this kicks off, whatever this may be. 533, as I said that. Where's this conflict? conflict okay yes or no hospitality um so you could have been kind of open with someone and this person could have snaked you um they could have been hiding behind a mask the entire time whole time somebody could have been competing with you or tried to have you compete for them. Oh, whoever this is was a chicken. Wow. Forgiveness and faith. So somebody here wants, yeah, somebody was a coward in the way. Either they tried to come at you this way or they're going to try to come at you this way. Take it out, resonate. Could be something around your home. Or you feel like home to this person. Something about your personality. Okay. Somebody here wants to make some sort of a promise. There could have been two masculines who made some sort of a deal or shook on something. Somebody here could be a wise guy. They love drama. Okay. They find it entertaining. This is how they spend their time. Okay. Competing. Somebody wanted you to feel, possibly feel invisible. Or well, now this person feels like there's competition for you and this person feels invisible. This person felt as though they were in the driver's seat of whatever this connection was. Um, okay, they could have seen your energy as being pure. Okay, with this wholesome energy here. This person wants somebody here wants marriage, but I don't feel like with this snake being here, it's not for the right reasons. So you may have somebody who may want marriage with you, but it may not be for the right reasons. Okay, labor. Then again, too, it's something that you do. Like I say, some of you, you may be in the limelight. So it's something that you do. Let's see what this is about. Let's get something on this backstory. This player, though, has some sort of a backstory. Give me something on this backstory here. So somebody was obsessed with making some sort of offer. Okay, I do see that somebody could have been definitely crushing on someone. Someone could have definitely had someone pregnant. Could have been pregnant by a karmic. Ten of swords and the reverse. Three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody could have walked away from a situation. Queen of cups. Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, somebody has some sort of plans that they feel like they're working on here. Somebody could have tried to body shame somebody. I did just hear that as well. Nine of cups. Hold on. If they did body shame you, 
They were doing it just to do it. Yeah. Thank you. Confirmation. Doing it just to do it because, <coughs> excuse me, this person actually sees you as wish fulfillment. Somebody is paying a practitioner here. I'm over the storyline. <laughs> I'm so serious, y'all. I don't care if it's in a sign or if it's in a, a, even if it's in like a, a collect, like being as though this is a collective reading, it's like it still pops up. What does this have, priestess? In the moon. Queen of Cups. Strong Piscean energy. Somebody's doing something to try to cause some sort of delays. Or they wanted you to walk away from someone here. Seven of Wands. Someone wants you to have your defenses down. So somebody could definitely be trying to come in, uh, make some sort of amends. Okay, uh, possibly come in with some sort of apology, but I feel like this is to get your guard down. Whatever this situation is, you've healed from it. Okay, this was something that was kind of burdensome. All right, um, some of you, if you've been practicing celibacy. I feel as though you've been seeing a big change in your energy. Now that you've gotten certain energies away from you and out of your energy. If someone doesn't... Hmm, this Aquarius is... Ugh. Could be an Aquarius. Could be also an Aries here. Five of Swords. They feel defeated. Because whatever magical manipulation they were trying to do. <coughs> Excuse me. And this was well thought out. Page of Rods. I don't know if this person wants to reach out to you. But they know they can't. Yeah. Somebody knows what it is that they want. King of Swords. What I'm telling you is the truth. They know what it is that they want. But, uh... It's you. <laughs> okay, somebody wants you to be their lover. Somebody looks at you as a soulmate. You look at this person as you don't want to put in the work. Okay, you have no regrets. A lot of you all are very happy in your single energy. On your boss daddy, boss babe stuff, okay? Somebody could be walking away as well from an empress here. Four ones in the reverse. What did I say? Judgment in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's dealing with a Queen of Pentacles that's very codependent. But blocked out a Queen of Swords. What about this Queen of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to make someone a love offer and an offer of stability here okay um i feel like somebody made a bad investment with someone okay and it left them financially in debt and i feel like someone is realizing that they're no longer happy in the situation this could be somebody that they've known for a long time this king of pentacles energy yeah six of cups Somebody that you could have known for a long time. This person could have possibly had you in a third party here. Played a lot of mind games. But I feel like you were always, you know, you knew that this person was not doing nothing but causing delays in your life. Okay. They ended up turning into a karmic partner. But something has come to an end. What had to. 
Okay, somebody was being reckless with magic as well. Somebody was doing death spells here. And I feel like it's because you released them. Somebody is trying to have it to where though possibly like your finances, something with your finances. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Ace of Swords in the reverse, the tower. Somebody here is in spiritual jail for being emotional, uh, emotionally manipulative, greedy even, okay? Could be quite selfish, actually. This person may try to reach out to you. Again, seven of pentacles in the reverse. And I feel like you're going to tell them you just don't think that they're a good investment. So again, you could have observed someone and their behavior and how they carry on and they may be a bit perplexed on why you didn't want to be with them or why you changed something because somebody feels like you changed your mind about wanting to be with them with that high priest is there yeah somebody feels as though you changed your mind about wanting to be with them But they don't want you to leave. Somebody wants equal give and take, but they're in the king of rods in the reverse. King of wands in the reverse. Okay, this is somebody very aggressive. and uh, They may step outside of their situation. So them and their person could be, you know, separated in some way. But somebody is making some sort of plan. Somebody could be using a crystal ball as well. Could be doing some sort of uh, viewing. Yeah, somebody is definitely in a heartbreaking situation. What's the three of swords? King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody made a very bad judgment call. It could be a lot of arguments, sharp words between, you know, and I mean like reckless. Somebody could be making a plan to come possibly see you or making some sort of plan to build some sort of family with you. High Priestess, what I'm telling you is the truth. With the Hierophant, King of Swords, Ace of Cups, yeah. Somebody is planning on coming to tell you some sort of truth that you did not know of. So you can expect this to come in. But I will say beware of mind games because somebody could be wanting finances from you. It's not for everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of y'all, since y'all been celibate, actually, you've been a lot happier. There's somebody that's going to think they're going to come in and try to charm the pants off of you. It's not going to happen. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This is something that you're going to let go. I told you. You have a passed over loved one, angel, ancestor that's watching over you. This is a fake friend, fake people. Whoever these fake friends and these fake people are, they're blocked. So, there won't be a celebration about a tower for you. But let's see if they celebrate this tower for them. Because I do feel like somebody, <coughs> excuse me, as well, okay? Somebody could have been in a third party, again, like I said. But I feel like whatever this is, um, it's a wrap. <laughs> Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. Somebody is broken up here. Queen of Pentacles. And this person could have stabbed or back um, backstabbed and betrayed someone here. But someone is no longer in love with a particular person. Ten of cups in the reverse. There's a family situation that is over. Someone is no longer confused. The Justice in the reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Oof. 
Yeah. Somebody's choosing to walk away. It was a lot of lies and stuff told. <coughs> Excuse me. But I feel like somebody here took the high road. Yeah, this is somebody that was in, um, that's not enlightened. They don't know much. Somebody wants to come out of hermit mode. If they ghosted you before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I tell you? A lover. Somebody wants to make some sort of an offer here. But I feel like whoever this is is making this offer. You don't want to work with this person. <clears throat> you don't want to work with this, whoever this is. Yeah, some of you are manifesting a new love. You can feel like your love, your love life has been kind of stagnant. I want to see what's going on with this uh, past on love one over here that's giving y'all all this protection. Because you definitely have someone that's paying a practitioner here. The Hierophant. The Spirit sees all, honey. God sees all. So does your angel. Temperance. You could be feeling like you need to have your boundaries up at this time. Especially for those fly-by-night energies. Okay, we have a king of rods and a reverse. Somebody here is definitely keeping an eye out on you, collective. Someone is wanting to come out of the cold and make up. <coughs> Excuse me. And make up with you. But they're being blocked. Baby, your answers is not playing. They're not playing. 22-22, as I said that. Somebody do not want you to walk away or leave. Queen of Swords, what did I tell you? I'm telling you the truth. They do not want you to walk away or leave. Ten of Cups in the Reverse. Someone didn't want to break up their family. Yeah. So, someone could have stopped putting in the work. Someone could have became sort of bossy. Wanted to control things. What is, somebody could have snuck away as well. Excuse me. This Aquarius is making some sort of plan for around the next full moon, which is in two days. Thank you, confirmation. <coughs> Excuse me. say show gratitude <coughs> excuse me some of y'all about to get some miracles that you didn't bank on spirit says go within work on things that need to be changed or shadow work ask for guidance you're not sure what to do ask Failure, intuition, happiness. So, even if you feel like something didn't work out the way you wanted it to, Spirit is saying, <coughs> excuse me, for some of you, you can have a fear of failure. And Spirit is just asking you to take the first step. If you need guidance for direction, ask for it. They will steer you in the right direction. Have courage. 
Take a pause. It's time for you to see something differently. It's time for you to view something differently. Yeah. Some of you need to get out in nature. It'll help strengthen you. Help is on the way for something you're getting ready to have to face. It's going to help you to release and let go. <coughs> Excuse me. And they want you to know you're not alone. Love is coming for a lot of you. <laughs> there is a new love offer coming. And I heard it's going to stop you in your tracks. Spirit is going to want you to accept it. If it's something good, okay? Clear your energy because there's a major change coming. Whatever you've been manifesting, it's pretty much on its way. You're overcoming whatever obstacles that's standing in your path. You do have someone planning to come and give you some sort of truth. Okay, I'm gonna get you a couple of oracles. I'll get you some advice. Continue to love on yourself. Take care of yourself. Navigate. Don't let people feel like... Don't let folks play on your innocence. But I feel like those are the boundaries. Yeah. Self-care. Sometimes you have to disconnect from people. Okay? So if you have to, that's what you have to do. You know, some journeys are meant to be walked alone. Can't always have passengers. Compass, academic, be you. Okay, objectivity. So, it's time for you to fall in line with your tribe. Especially, again, if you're in the limelight, there's some sort of justice that's getting ready to come through. Okay, appearance could be very significant. All right, we have here things. So, this could be vanity. Make sure that you're not... You know, over investing in things. Give me something that academic can be you. Teacher. Some of you are meant to teach. Somebody here could be very skilled in Ouija. Now, you take that how, you, how it resonates with you. I don't indulge in that. I had an uncle who indulged in that. I don't do that. Yeah, we have driver. <coughs> so, I feel like you are in the driver's seat, uh, collective. Okay, you just need to be optimistic here with this optimism. Focus on being in that in innocent energy. Be your natural self. Before the programming. Parents and religion here. Yeah. You don't have to carry everything on your back. With this modern energy. Okay. When it comes to creativity. You may need to branch off. And work with others. Because there's definitely something in your perception. That. Um, you can need to change. How you service. Okay. Remembrance. And then we have addiction. So some of you, make sure you're not overindulging as for, you know, in drinking. Some of you are definitely meant to be in a leadership position in the limelight. But there's a snake trying to change something here. 
whatever this hardship that is that somebody is trying to cause you, you're going to get justice behind it. Do nothing. Damn. Tell me about it. Spirit says do nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit say all you need to do is focus on what you need to be focused on. There's a witch here. Somebody's feeling haunted. So something that somebody could have sent towards you could be haunting them. And you're going to get some sort of communication about this. Whatever they've been trying to send or plan on sending. Again, look, that temperance at the bottom. It's not going to make its way through. Outcome of the situation. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. That's interesting energy. From the Queen to the Five. And it's done. be a friend somebody could be feeling left out by you <clears throat> so i don't know if you ended a friendship with someone but it's been a burden on this person could be a Taurus with the hierophant just peeked out there they may reach out text you in the near future King of Cups can reach out to you as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, High Priestess, what I'm telling you is the truth. They want to make up for some sort of betrayal here. King of Pentacles, the Emperor in the reverse. Ooh, that's nasty energy. Somebody used to be abusive. You could be being blocked from someone who likes to hit on people, hit on women, hit on men. And they may think it's okay as long as they're providing money. <clears throat> you have the Hermit. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So they may not even be, yeah, somebody's living with somebody, but they're not having sex. Somebody's wanting to go towards someone who uh, they were only coming in and out. And somebody walked away here. Somebody's missing someone majorly. So, this definitely was a third-party situation. Somebody is missing somebody heavily, okay? And um, <clears throat> what they feel as though they ain't getting at home, they're reminiscing or trying to remember, I guess, whoever this third party was that walked away. Somebody is... Regretting a choice. I, I really feel that. But somebody is really curious to know. I feel like they know why you walked away. But they want to know why did you change your mind. Like why all of a sudden. And I don't feel like it was all of a sudden. I feel like you watched. You gave this person enough time and effort. And you watched how this person moved. You know you watched this person's patterns. The things that they do. You know. Fuck if they do with you, they'll do it to you. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like you, you realize something here. Okay. I have a love for the message. Please and thank you. Rigid. There are invisible walls around you preventing love to come in in order to experience love. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to open yourself up and let your guard down. Building blocks. This card is a sign that you will attract a solid relationship. Already established relationships will be more stronger. 
And then we have both of you are laying out an honest, strong, and genuine foundation. One more, please. Take it slow. This came out in the Gemini reading. Um, these two cards, the building blocks and uh, take it slow. Don't rush into this connection and situation. Take your time. Get to know each other. Let the connection unfold how it's meant to be. Don't push anything. Reconciliation. Sorry. This card stands for reconciliation or forgiveness. Someone may feel very sorry for their actions and want to apologize. Or perhaps you are in this situation. It may also be important to forgive in order to move on. So, <coughs> excuse me. There's a past lover that you may not have forgiven. Okay, that you need to forgive in order for you to move on and release whatever blockage it is that's blocking new love from coming in for you. All right. Audrey had burn energy. Radiate love. So if that's what you're manifesting, you have to radiate it. You have to be in that frequency. My loves, <coughs> excuse me, fly high and don't forget to breathe. Live your life, okay? No apologies. Take time to play and explore and never compromise. My girl Frida, I love me some Frida, y'all. 3636 could be saying 99 explore all possibilities and share your knowledge with people you know the things that you've gone through is your testimony don't try it do it and be real choose peace didn't i tell you Give it your best shot. So whatever it is that you're going to, going to, working on, give it your best. <clears throat> Don't let ego get in the way. All right. The old path is not working. Create a new one. We have love. You need to change your perception on how you see love. Personal mandala. Get rooted and grounded. Path of the heart. At the bottom here, what do we have? We have mood. So if your mood can be fluctuating, get some meditation in. And we have unity. And it helps you come in balance with yourself. Balance your energy. That's what I have for you, Collective. I hope these messages help in some way, shape, or form. Please like, share, and sub. Comment if these messages resonate. I appreciate you all, as always. Love you, and see you next time. Peace.